doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, basic JavaScript on challenge 107 of 113. So today we are going to generate random whole numbers within a range. So just like the last two challenges, we're going to use math.random here. Apparently we're going to use math.4 and we're going to take a range and get random numbers within them, right? So just like before, if we wanted to get numbers within the range of zero through whatever, we would multiply the math.random by the number that we wanted to get, the, uh, the max number, basically. If we want to get them within a range, we use this formula. Um, these are all kind of not extremely complicated, but kind of confusing and definitely, you know, equations that you kind of have to know some math to understand, I guess. Uh, but definitely useful and things you should kind of either write down or commit to memory that um, you will definitely use when you're trying to create randomness within whatever app you're making. Random quote generators, um, just trying to pull a random value from something. Yeah, any whatever you're trying to make, randomness is very common in programming. So math.random is very useful. So we're gonna create a function, random range. It's gonna take in my min, my max, and it's going to return a whole number that is greater than my min or less than or equal to my max inclusive. So to do the inclusive part, we're going to do the plus one. So if, if in the previous examples, if we multi, if we didn't have this all this here and we just multiplied by 20, it would give us a random whole number. So if all this that I have highlighted was just 20, it would give us a random whole number between zero and 19. If we wanted to get a whole number between zero and, and or 1 and 20, we would want to do plus 1, so that if it was 0, it would be 1, if it was 19, it would be 20, and every number would be randomly, would be random, but then adjusted by 1 to be within the range. Kind of the same concept, if you didn't see the last video where I talked about that, you know, that's, that's fine, but uh, yeah, kind of good to know that, that is, that's how it works. Um, yeah, so that's all we're going to do, is use this equation to create this random function. So we're going to just say, let's make a variable, declare it, let rand, rand equal math, capital M, dot four. And then that's a function. It's going to round down. So what it's going to, whatever we put in it, if we put 1.8, it's going to round to one because it's four. So it rounds down. So then inside it, we want math.random, which is going to give us a random decimal and we want it to be a whole number we, well not just a whole number but uh, a number a whole number within a range so then we can say multiplied by my max minus my min plus one just like we see here in this example and then plus min so it's going to give us a number that is, um, this basically gives a, gives us a, a number with, well, all this here, basically gives us a number within the range of the difference of these two. So say if my min was 50, my max was 100, this would just give us a number between 0 and 49, well, plus 1, so 1 and 50, and then plus min, so plus 50, so then it makes it within that range. Uh, that's why we have that plus min at the end. I hope that made sense. Um, we're going to do not just plus min, my min, apparently, because that's what we called it here. Uh, and yeah, that's all we should have to do for this one, besides probably return the actual variable we created. So yeah, hope that helped. Hope that made sense. Again, definitely useful stuff. Not the most complicated, but definitely mathematical. Uh, definitely good to know. So I hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next video.